Before we start to play with a ball, we need to get to know the ball and treat it like our friend. We need to develop the same kind of movements that a basketball player would with their hands with the ball, with our feet. So these exercises that we do now are called ball familiarity exercises, warming up exercises where we get used to moving the ball with the inside of the foot, with the outside of the foot, with our sole, and they're very, very important. And the whole basis of all the work that players would do in Brazil starts here with these, with these exercises. So the first one, we take the ball from the inside of our left foot to the inside of our right foot. Very simple, so just tap and tap, okay, on the spot. And as we get a little bit more confident, we can do that a little bit more quickly and develop a rhythm. Then when we can do that, we can move off into space and move the ball forward and run with the ball just with that same movement. And this is a very important first practice. Okay, boys, if you could just do that. So nice and slow, nice and slow. Heads up. Okay, excellent. And stop. The next exercise that we're going to do, we're going to use the sole of the foot. The sole of the foot is rarely used in English football. More so in the last few years when we've had foreign players come into the country, but before that, hardly at all. In Brazilian football, the sole is the most common area used to control the ball. This comes from those players learning in football de salon, where the sole is the key receiving surface. And the sole has many applications. We can pass with the sole, we can dribble with the sole, we can run with the sole of the foot, okay? Our basic warm-up exercise using the sole of the foot is just to drag the ball from left to right, left to right, just with that area there at the bottom of our shoe at the front on the sole. So left to right, nice and slow. And as we do it at first, just keep the standing leg planted on the floor. Because we're not used to this, at first it's not easy. But then when we get used to it, we get a little bit quicker, okay, and we can develop something of a nice rhythm. And this helps us, as I said, in juggling, sorry, in dribbling moves when we're trying to beat players. Many of the dribbling moves that Brazilian players use that we've seen in the World Cup, that we've seen from Ronaldo, from Rivaldo, uh, moves that use the sole of the foot. And this exercise is very important for us developing control with the sole. So if we can have some example, okay, off we go. Nice and wide, not too quick, nice and wide. Head up, Brad. It's important that we keep our head up all the time because in the game, we're always looking for players to pass to. We've got opponents coming to us, so to play with our head down is not very good. And from a young age, we've got to try and develop where we're doing everything with our head up. The next move that we'll do is called an elastic. It's a fundamental movement in Brazilian football, used in a dribble. The player Rivellino made this move, very famous in the 1970 World Cup, and it's actually named after him, the Rivellino Elastic. Ronaldo has used it more recently. Um, and in fact, Michael Owen in our own Premier League used this move against West Ham last year in a game, and it was us that showed the move to Michael, and it's one of his favourites. So the elastic move, we move the ball out and then in, all in one movement. Out and then in, all in one. And I'll just show you later how it works in a game. If you could come here, Bradley, without your ball. So I could be facing Bradley in a game, running at him. I'm running at Bradley fast. He's not sure if I'm going to go to his right or if I'm going to go to his left. But I could use the elastic to push out there and then pass. Come again, Bradley. A little bit faster. Okay, so I'm running at Bradley and I go there, elastic, and I'm past him. So we could just do a few of those. Nearly try again. Push it out. Try again. And back. And Mark, try your ball. What I sometimes like to do there is after I've done one, not just rush into the next, think maybe what I did wrong. So I'm on my toes, out and in, and I'll stop and I'll just jog behind the ball and think about the next one I'm going to do and get ready for it. The next little move that we're going to look at is a favourite one of mine. I've never seen this one yet in the Premier League. Maybe some of you in a few years' time will be able to do it and we'll see it. And it's called the Ronaldo move. It was made famous by Ronaldo, who had such a good World Cup in 2002. Ronaldo takes the ball with the sole of his foot again, across his body, here, and then steps over it with his left foot. It doesn't look like much, but in a game it can be totally devastating. He used this in the 2002 World Cup to set himself up into position to score a goal. So it's roll the ball across the body, then step over with the left. Nothing more than that. And I'll just show you how it works against the defender. So I'm running up to Bradley in a game. There I go, and past him. Now it's very, very hard for Bradley to defend against 
that particular dribble because as I do the first movement, I then step over with my left and it shields the ball. So at that moment, Bradley would have to foul me in order to win the ball. Ready, Brad? So I've rolled across, then step and I'm shielding. So my leg here is protecting the ball. I can push it on and run and I'm passed. OK, let's practice the Ronaldo. Okay, and stop. The next movement that we're going to look at is the Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho did so well in the 2002 World Cup. He scored that fantastic free kick against David Seaman and made the run that took the ball through to the goal for Rivaldo to score the other goal against England. Ronaldinho's favourite move is to bring the ball on the sole of his foot across his body and then step around it with the same foot. It looks very simple, but again, it's a devastating move and yet still one I've never seen yet in the English Premier League. So, it's all on one foot, roll, and then around. Looks very easy, but it isn't. Roll, and then around. It's like the Ronaldo move, in that the step allows us to shield the ball as the defender comes in. So if I could have a defender, if you step here, Kieran, please. It's not really a fair match, me playing against you, but as you're the nearest. So I'm going to bring the ball in, OK? Right foot, come for the ball. Then I step around here, OK? So again, the first move is on the sole of the foot. So important in Brazilian football. And the sole of the foot teases Kieran in towards the ball, but it's that, se come on, it's that second step that will stop him getting it. And if Kieran then wanted to get this ball, he's going to have to foul me or kick me, because I'm shielding. Ready? Now, after you've made the mistake, then try and come and get the ball. OK? Ready? So, see? And I'm away from him, blocking him. Try again. Go. Ready? And he can't. We'll move on now to a little move that Rivaldo uses, one of my favourite players. We again practice this on our own. It's no use with any of these things, watching television, watching the videos of Brazil or the World Cup or any player, and then thinking straight away, I can go and do that. I hear commentators so many times see Brazilian players and they say, wow, what did they do? It was so difficult. Our players could never do that. You can do it if you practice. Children can do it. It's just a matter of looking at exactly what they did and then breaking it down into bits, learning the bits, learning it on your own, and then later it's possible in the game. So this is one of Rivaldo's. He brings the ball, he brings the defender in, then brings the ball back with the sole of his foot again, behind his standing leg, and then across. He makes like a little triangle. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Now you may say, how does that have any use to beat a defender? Well, I'll show you. James, you can come in. James is a very good defender. He's at Huddersfield Town at the moment, a centre-back. But I still think with my little Rivaldo trick, I'll be able to beat him. In fact, this is one of James's favourites. I know that from coaching him down the years. So we're running to the defender. I show him the ball. So I go one, two, three, and away. OK? So it's the second touch that is the vital one because it's like a dog showing the dog the bone to come and get the bone. We're try trying to show the defender the ball to get him to follow. So one, two, he goes there, three, and I'm gone. James, if you were there in the corner, I can come into the ball for James. Come on. Come on. Come on. And then finally I'm gone. And away. Very nice move. I think it's better if we practice it moving backwards to get a lot of repetitions in. So in the space, back, behind and across, back, behind and across. Wide with our arms so that if we're in a game, we would be shielding. Try and keep our head up. And we repeat that movement until it almost becomes second nature. Okay? It's another very important one. Go. Good. Come on. This next move I named after a friend of mine, Emerson, who played at Middlesbrough. He was a fantastic, strong midfield player, great in the tackle, good at long shots, but he also had some fantastic skills. And his favourite was this little move that I'll show here. If you could come there, Adam, please. He would run into the player, look as though he was going to the player's left side and his 